we want to solve the equation cosine x equals 0 0.45 on the given interval, which means we're trying to find the angles x that have a cosine function value of 0 0.45, again, on the given interval. The first thing we might recognize is that we're not going to find angles that have a cosine function value of 0 0.45 using the unit circle or reference triangles, so we'll have to use the calculator in order to solve this equation. And also, in order to solve this for x, we will have to use the inverse cosine or arc cosine function. So for a quick review, if we have y equals arc cosine x, x are all of the possible cosine function values, which means the domain would be the closed interval from negative one to one, and the output or y of the arc cosine function would be an angle on the closed interval from zero to pi radians. So in order to solve the equation cosine x equals 0 0.45, we want to solve the equation for x, which means to undo cosine, we'll have to take the arc cosine or inverse cosine of both sides of the equation. So we'd have inverse cosine of the left as well as inverse cosine of the right. So we'd have inverse cosine, cosine x equals inverse cosine 0 0.45, so inverse cosine of cosine x simplifies to just x, so we have x equals inverse cosine of 0 0.45. So now we'll go to the calculator to determine the angle on the closed interval from zero to pi radians that has a cosine function value of 0 0.45. We first want to verify that we are in radian mode, so we'll press the mode key. Notice how radian is highlighted, so we'll go back to the home screen and now we'll press second cosine for inverse cosine, 0 0.45, close parenthesis, and enter. So notice how the calculator is giving us the angle 1.1040 radians if we round to four decimal places. So we know one solution is x equals 1.1040 radians which again is the angle on the closed interval from zero to pi radians that has a cosine function value of 0 0.45. And this would be the angle in the first quadrant. Let's go ahead and sketch it in standard position. So we'd have the positive x-axis here, rotate counterclockwise 1.1040 radians to approximately here. So if we sketch the reference triangle, it would look like this. But this is not the only solution on the given interval. Remember, cosine theta is equal to x divided by r, and because x is positive in the first and the fourth quadrants, there's a second angle in this interval that has the same cosine function value it would be the angle in the fourth quadrant that has the same reference angle. So if we sketch an angle in the fourth quadrant that has the same reference angle, the terminal side might look something like this. Again, where this reference angle is 1.1040 radians. So the reference triangle would look something like this. And notice how these two right triangles do share this side along the positive x-axis, which would be x. So to determine what this angle would be, so to determine this angle, it would start along the positive x-axis and rotate counterclockwise to here. So to find this angle, we would take two pi radians and subtract the reference angle of 1.1040 radians. So the second solution on the given interval would be x equals two pi radians minus 1.1040 radians. Now we did round this angle here, so if we wanted to be more precise, we could say two pi minus inverse cosine of 0.45. Let's show both of these on the calculator to see if there is much of an error if we round to four decimal places. So we'll take two pi 
and subtract 1.1040. Let's go ahead and compare this value to two pi minus inverse cosine of 0 0.45. Again, if we round to four decimal places, we would have the same approximation of 5.1792 radians. Which again is this angle here. That terminates in the fourth quadrant. So we'll say x sub one is approximately 1.1040 radians, and x sub two is approximately 5.1792 radians. I hope you found this helpful.